this video I will show you how I repaired and repainted the front bumper of my BMW E92. As you can tell of these clips, this bumper is in a really really bad condition, really needs some repair and repaint. The first step was to take off all the accessories like the fog lights and all the grills. Next I started wet sanding the whole bumper with some 80 grit sandpaper, but I quickly gave up wet sanding and started dry sanding with the same grit. After sanding I mixed up some filler and filled up all the stone chips and cracks and scratches on the bumper. After the filler dried, I started sanding it down with some 80 grit sandpaper, at next some 200 grit and in the end with some 400 grit sandpaper. After all the stone chips and cracks and everything was really flat, I started to repair the mounting points where the bumper attaches to the fenders, because all four mounting points were completely ripped out. So I had to get creative and I took some wire mesh and heated it up and pressed it against the bumper so that it would slightly melt into it. <laughs> After I cleaned the whole bumper with some cleaning alcohol, I started to paint the first layers of primer. The first layer was really thin just to make some contact point for the next layers of paint. After the primer dried, I started to put on the first layers of base coat which in my case was one really thin layer of base coat and then two thicker layers of the black base coat.
I should have laid the last layer of base coat thicker than I did because I ended up having a lot of orange peel which wouldn't happen if uh, I simply sprayed the last coat really thick. As you can see it looks quite good from distance but I really had a lot of orange peel I have to admit. But this was my first time using a spray gun to paint whole parts like this. I already painted a lot of bumpers and fenders and stuff like that but always with spray cans so I was really used to that but I thought it's time now to start getting used to the spray gun because I think in the end you can get a much better finish with a spray gun than with a spray can. So this was my first time as I said with a spray gun and for that it came out pretty well. As you can see you can still repair orange peel like I had by simply sanding everything with first 1500 grit sandpaper then 2000 and then 3000 grit sandpaper. After I sanded the whole bumper again in the end with 3000 grit sandpaper I started polishing with a power drill and some pads and some polish. I didn't really use high quality polish because like I said I want to do everything on a budget but even though it came out really great in the end. After I finished polishing, I put back the fog lights, the grills into the bumper and the bumper back on the car again. painted the wheels because they were also very scratched and damaged. 
I also filmed this process but all the files got deleted on the camera. But the process of painting is basically the same as painting the bumper. I first send it down all the scratches and all the damage, then I filled up the gaps and then I again primed it, base coat and in the end some matte finish clear coat.